Okay, how's everybody doing today? Clint, the audio guy, back here for you, this time with an unboxing. Uh, these are uh, a speaker that I bought for myself, so um, pretty awesome piece uh, from Totem called the Rainmaker. Uh, it's kind of an unsung speaker, but um, you know, we've had them at work for a long time. We've had them before, so I've had experience over the past like 12 years with this speaker. I think they're about 15 years old. And uh, I didn't really give them too much attention until I really started listening and putting them on some better electronics. And they, uh, they really open up. They're, they do a pretty good uh, surprise factor. So I'm just going to start opening this while I'm talking. Uh, I was going to break them in at work uh, at Extend because we've got press electronics everywhere uh, and then bring them home but I was too excited I wanted to, wanted to take them home and listen to them right away so and I've been between a bunch of different speakers uh, I've had uh, bunch of different stuff from full range towers that can play 120 dB full range all the way down to 20 Hertz to small two ways uh, like the Totem Hawk which I've mentioned in other videos that was a sweet speaker too uh, this time I'm trying to you know anybody can put together a system if you've got thirty thousand dollars to spend or forty thousand dollars to spend and you're gonna put it together it's gonna sound amazing but I'm trying to sort of challenge myself. Uh, I want to put a system together that's more reasonable, that more people are going to be able to afford. Uh, and I want to do it, I, I sort of want a shock factor, so I want to do it with a small speaker. Um, so I had to choose right. You know, I'm looking for a five and a quarter inch woofer bookshelf speaker, so small speaker that's going to blow people's minds. They're going to be looking for the subwoofer, they're going to be wondering where the other speakers are, uh, and they're not going to be there. So I had to choose right, and uh, I think I have, especially for the price. Um, okay, so here we go. This is the Rainmaker. Uh, I got them in black ash finish. Got them in black ash. Uh, most speakers that say black ash are usually vinyl wrapped finish or they are um, uh, really oak, an oak veneer, so it's a real deep grain and then it's painted black, but they call it black ash, but it isn't. So uh, this is the nicest black ash I've ever seen in a speaker. It's a nice tight grain. Ashwood's got a finer grain than uh, oak does uh, and it's just beautiful. Nice uniform grain, real even. Uh, this is using a five and a quarter inch uh, four layer paper cone woofer. Uh, paper cones are very uh, underrated, I've found. Uh, I realize this in car audio as well as home audio designs. You know, a lot of companies are using stuff like Kevlar because they're yellow and they grab attention, or they're just using some other material and they're dyeing it yellow, or, um, or some other bright color, you know, and you go, ooh, what's that? Well, I've listened to a lot of designs and my my favorite sound that comes from a woofer, especially a mid, is paper, paper cones. They're light, uh, they're stiff, but they're also highly uh, damping. They uh, dampen their own uh, resonances very well. So, um, so anyway, uh, this is a, a C's tweeter, a uh, metal dome tweeter. Uh, the uh, crossover is a second order crossover, which is uh, 12 dB crossover slope, it's 12 dB per octave as it rolls into the tweeter and the uh, woofer. Pretty traditional slope. Uh, it is a 4 ohm speaker, so as long as you have electronics that are capable of 4 ohm uh, capability, so uh, better receivers and up, you're going to be able to run it. Um, the sensitivity on the Rainmaker is 87.5 dB. So reasonably efficient, especially for a totem. They're not the most efficient speakers out there, but um, in the bookshelf it's going to be pretty uh, pretty easy to drive. Uh, but we're going to pair this with some good electronics, and uh, we're going to see what kind of uh, what kind of surprises we can pull on some people. So so there it is. We've got I'll show you the back here. 
uh, totems, just like uh, the rest of the totems from the Rainmaker up, are uh, uh, veneered on the outside as well as the inside, so it's a sandwich. People, people always think, oh, how are they going to veneer the inside? They don't veneer the inside after the cabinet's built. They buy the material veneered on the outside and on both sides, basically. Then they cut it um, to uh, form the pieces for the box. It's lock mitered, so it'll hold together without even glue or nails. And then they glue it. Uh, uh, so it's very strong, doesn't warp. Uh, it can stand up to humidity changes and temperature changes over the years, and it's not going to lose its structural integrity. Uh, the back plate here, we have a port up top. Um, they're giving us a rating of uh, 20 to 100 watts of power. Uh, that's, I'm sure, spot on. Uh, I, I always favor more power, but this is a speaker where you really don't need more than 100 watts um, in the amplifier. Uh, a good high current amp is what I'm going to pair with them, and I'm shooting for around 80 to 100 watts, so they're going to have plenty of power. Uh, we've got bi-amplified uh, posts here, so you got gold-plated posts uh, with jumpers in there. Uh, so you can take the jumpers out if you want to buy wire or uh, buy amplify. Uh, it's a standard binding post, so you can put uh, spades, uh, pull the little plug out, bananas, uh, bare wire, you know. So there it is. Uh, borosilicate paint inside. I don't know if I mentioned that they don't use foam or polyfill uh, like most speakers do. Uh, and they put really high-end crossovers in there. So all the components in the crossover are really uh, really top shelf uh, stuff. So they don't, they don't veil the sound at all and they're going to give you as much information as you can possibly get while still splitting the treble and bass apart. I love two-way designs too because you only have to split them in one spot. You know, a four-way speaker, three-way speaker, it's a lot more complex than the crossover and you're just going to be losing a little bit of detail uh, to get ultimately massive dynamic range. A really good two-way, uh, and Totem pulls this off better than anybody I've heard, a uh, really good two-way can be magical. So Anyway, I'm going to start breaking these puppies in, and, uh, and we'll be back for more. Uh, for right now I'm replacing, I'm sure you're going to ask, I'm replacing a homemade uh, bookshelf speaker. It's actually a kit speaker from Parts Express. I was just playing around to see what uh, see what they sounded like. They actually sound pretty good, but uh, these are better. So stay tuned. I'll have more information for you and more content. Thanks for watching.